I think we're all competitive guys. We want to go as high as we want, but you know, at the same time, there are a lot of good players in this draft, and I think it happens. So I think that's what's going to make it very, very exciting. If the team asks you to come into the NHL next season, do you feel you're NHL ready? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very confident in my capabilities and stuff. You know, what I got at BC was, was great this year. You know, I developed a ton, and you, know, you never know. Maybe going back to BC wouldn't hurt me. You know, I mean, I could get a lot better to prepare myself even more for the NHL. So that's something I'm going to have to consider. You know, obviously, I have to see what team drafts me, talk to the team, see what their opinion is. Um, but, but right now, I'm just trying to enjoy this. You know, you only go through this once in your life. So, Sorry, was it a challenge as a 17-year-old competing with young men 20, 21, 22? Yeah, I mean, definitely physically, it was definitely hard. You know, going from playing junior in the USHL last year was to go into NCAA. NCAA was definitely a step up. You know, the guys are a lot more physically, you know, developed and stuff. So it made it a little bit more difficult. But I think after a few games, I, I got adjusted and I started to feel pretty good. Have you been able to access Aaron Eckblad, considering Bobby Orr and the the representation there? And if so, how valuable has that been? I actually have not, but uh, you know, I'm planning on this summer to get to meet him and, and know him a little bit, talk to him. You know, last summer I went up to Toronto a little bit and skated with Connor and all those guys. Dave Gandhi is my advisor, so I was up there with them, and I'm hoping this summer I may get to meet Aaron. Uh, are you following any of the rumors about what might happen after the second pick? Like, not really. You know, I've been so busy here. You know, just doing all the stuff and you know, getting getting ready for the draft. But I mean, I, I mean, you always hear stuff. You know, I you go on your phone, you just see so much stuff going on. You you hear things, but. Um, you know, I, I, you can't really pay attention to it because there have been so many examples of like crazy things happening in the past. Uh, so I'm, I'm, like I said, it's gonna make it really exciting. I don't know what's gonna happen. So. You get a lot of tweets from fans hoping you land in there with their team. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get the notifications and stuff, so I see stuff occasionally. But uh, like I said, I mean, whatever, whatever happens, I'll be proud to represent that team in that city. Have you been talking, or will you talk again with teams here that you've interviewed with at the, at the combine? Yeah, I'm, I met with a few at the combine. I'm gonna be meeting here as well. So. Is Jersey one of them? Uh, no. Columbus? No. Carolina? Yeah. <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs? Uh, yeah. There you go. Will uh, Neil Shea be on your mind uh, when your name is mentioned? And we talked about it at the Combine, but the opportunity to be switched as a youngster was so sure from forward to defense and how important that, that position switch was back then. Yeah, I mean, Neil was, was like my first coach. He really taught me the game. You know, he, he helped me fall in love with it. Um, you know, when I was, I started playing with him when I was probably about seven years old and he switched me back to D. He just saw me as a bigger guy who could skate pretty well. And, you know, obviously Neil knows the game really well. He played at BC, he's a scout now for Colorado. So he, he has a good mind for the game. And, you know, he thought I could develop as a good defenseman someday. And, you know, I'm really happy he did that. You know, I think it, it worked out for the best. In this whole process, is there a question you've come to hear over and over again that you can't wait to not have to answer anymore? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the questions, most of them, honestly, have been pretty similar, you know, but, um, you know, obviously throughout the year, your, your mindset changes a little bit. You start to come up with different ideas of stuff, so you, your answers will change a little bit, but it's mostly the same questions. So. What, what question have you heard the most? Um, what am I going to do next year, probably? I've, I've been asked that a lot. Like, whether pro or senior. Yeah, I've been asked that a lot, but I...